Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. We are just at the gas station right now. David is walking up to the car. Um, and as you guys see by the title, today's video is going to be how I spend my week and how Dawood spends his week because we're not going to be together for the next week because Dawood's going to Cuba. Woo! Yeah, I have friends that want to go out with me. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to drop Dawood off at the airport or right now. I'm dropping myself off at the airport because as you can see, I'm driving. Of course, I'm not going to drive both ways. Like, relax. I'm just going to hang out with my family for the entire time that Dawood is, you know, beaching with the boys. I'm going to miss you, Bye! Have fun with the beach. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Freedom! <laughs> Alright, now you're gonna get my version of being alone for a few days. And finally, this is the first time in a long time that I've been alone without Jasmine. So it's gonna be fun. I'm hanging out with my uh, old friends from way back in then when I used to live in Canada. One of my friends, I actually grew up with him. We were actually born in the same year, went to school together. So. Yeah, we're gonna have fun and I'm definitely gonna miss Jasmine, but hey, it's only a few days. All right, so I'm back home from dropping off the wood. I passed by the grocery store to grab a few things for my chia seed pudding that I've been having. So I made this actually last night, so it's been in the fridge since last night. And I'm just gonna add the toppings with you guys. I've been really into chia seeds lately. I have no idea if it's good for me in terms of my IBS it might serve the opposite purpose but I've been really enjoying it it's a fun thing to eat I don't know that's a weird way to describe it but it's like fun like the texture is just fun so this is what it looks like right now I did about like three tablespoons of chia seeds and then I added some sweetened almond milk now I'm gonna add some plant-based yogurt this is made out of um coconut cream or coconut milk it's just better that way because i don't do well with dairy and then i'm gonna add some granola that comes with coconut and dark chocolate this one is really really good and then i'm just doing this for fun i got the coconut whipped topping i found this at the grocery store and again it's non-dairy so why not have a little bit of fun you know this is what it's looking like so far let's add the topping Ooh. cute i'm gonna sit outside and enjoy this in the backyard and then i'm gonna do some laundry and then maybe get a nap before i go see my sisters guys we've been waiting on this flight for the past uh, i want to say hour and we haven't flown yet now i'm trying to think that jasmine's my lucky charm whenever we fly because this never happens so we're extremely delayed Look who it is! Hi, Misty! Okay, you want to go to bed? Good night! So anytime I'm back in Canada, I'm on Wara'anab duty because everyone in my family loves Wara'anab and I'm the only one that makes it. So anytime I'm here, that's all I do. <laughs> I literally have done it like four times already and they are so good but this time i'm actually making them with meat i'm doing the meat version not the vegetable version because i find it easier and i'm low-key lazy um, i don't feel like chopping up all the veggies we're doing the meat version which is literally just like rice um ground beef seven spices lemon juice that kind of stuff and you just mix it all together um and they actually come out super thin like this which is so cute because the rice you can kind of make it compact and roll it super thin i have the instant pot ready with some steak pieces at the bottom this is my favorite part because when you cook it with the steak pieces the steak turns out so soft and so delicious and it just soaks up all the juice that's in there so this is going to turn out amazing wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update this is what the first layer looks like i pack them really close so that they don't end up unrolling when i add the liquid on top so this is what it looks like directly on top of the steak i'm going to go in and do another layer probably about three layers as much as i can roll with the filling that i made i have someone watching me romeo he actually doesn't care about me <laughs> He could 
pure lust. Romeo. Say hi. Oh, I don't think he likes me. I am finally done rolling. This is what it looks like. I managed to do four layers. Now I'm gonna put it in the Instant Pot on the pressure cooker setting and I'm gonna set it to 40 minutes and then it should be perfectly cooked and ready to eat. We just landed and we're getting picked up right now by a taxi or they have, a, my friends have a friend. They've come here a lot. So far it's different. It's nice. Jasmine, I'm gonna have fun without you, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm gonna be spending the next Four days. It's a nice, beautiful view. It is 7 p.m., 7.30. So it's, as you can see, it's getting dark. I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the beach right now. So we're gonna hang out, me and my friends. My friends are camera shy or they don't like being on camera. So you guys aren't going to meet them, unfortunately. But you guys will get a lot of me. I was gonna do a pot flip for you guys, but it honestly was not graceful whatsoever and I almost dumped half of it on the table. So this is what you guys get. This is the final result. It looks so delicious and I'm so excited to eat, but it is 2 a.m. So I'm gonna take a couple bites and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, so we're all hungry now and apparently I heard that the food isn't that good here. That's what everyone says. Even Jasmine's father told me it's not good. So we're gonna try it out. Um, fortunately, nothing is halal, I'm assuming, right? Nothing's halal. No. Nothing is halal, so I'm gonna stick to, I don't know, we'll see what, what the options are. Uh, no, thank you. Not halal. Doesn't even look good. Uh, rice and fish. And I have no idea what this is. This is gonna be a struggle. Okay, maybe pasta, I'll eat pasta. I can't eat that, can't eat that. Yeah, so the food doesn't look too great, but uh, I'm gonna have to survive. I'm really hungry. So fish, rice, and eggs, that's all I'm gonna eat this trip so far. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm all dressed and ready to run some errands. I am hosting a very special event at the end of this week for a special someone. I'm not gonna mention too many details because that person might be watching, but I am going to a few stores just to grab some things for that event. I will be decorating everything. I'm probably going to vlog it either on YouTube or Instagram, so make sure you follow me there. Before I go out and run those errands, I wanted to do a quick jewelry tour. I love doing this with you guys because I always have pretty much the same jewelry on, but this time I have something a little different. I have this necklace on, which is new from Nominal. It's basically a moon, little gem in the middle, and a star. It is so beautiful and I've been wearing it all the time. I especially love it with like all black outfits and just that little bit of gold adds the perfect touch. I've also been wearing this wave ring every single day, you guys. I don't take this off even when I shower, sleep, everything. It's on 24 seven, you guys. It's such great quality. It's 18 karat gold plated and it's just the perfect like chunky ring without being too in your face. I will leave the link to these pieces down below and I will also leave my code Jasmine for you guys to save. All right, let's get on with the day. Let's go see what we're gonna do. Just got to Dollarama. I honestly wish they had this store in Dubai. It has literally everything you would need. So this is what I got so far. I have some candles, a bucket for drinks. This is for like cutlery. And then I also have ribbon as well to put on the balloons. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. Good morning, everyone. All right, so next day. Uh, today is the real day where I'm gonna actually explore Cuba. I don't know if I told you guys, I'm in Barbado, Barbado, I believe it's called. And um, I have no idea where that is. It's just, I know snow it's in Cuba. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go have some breakfast now, hang out with a friend, probably go to the beach, swim, chill. This is my view in the morning from my balcony of the apartment or of the hotel room. Can't wait to be on that light blue beach over there it's gonna be fun that was a lot more successful than i had thought it would be i found something as i was exiting the store and it was perfect i was looking for these but i couldn't find them anywhere they're these like champagne plastic 
glasses that I wanted to do on like the dinner table. Now I'm starving and I still have the wara'ana back at home that I can eat. So I'm gonna go see what my family is doing and maybe grab something to eat or just have the wara'ana. So let's go. Heading to the beach now. I haven't seen it yet. My friends really hyped it up and say, saying it's one of the best beaches they've ever been to. So let's go check it out. All right, this is the beach. It's such a nice strip of sand. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's really windy, but look how beautiful the strip of water is. The beach is so nice and it keeps going and going and going. The water is so blue and so clear. I don't know about you guys, but I love mjaddara. Like it's one of my favorite meals ever. I know mjaddara gets a lot of hate, but it is so good, especially with the fried onions on top my favorite part. This one is actually called mdardara because it has rice in the lentils. It's not just lentils and it's still so, so yummy. I have it with plain yogurt and of course, a lot of turnips. Okay, so my friends are big on cigars. So they come here to shop for cigars to bring back with them to Canada. And that's what we're doing right now. So we're going into the shop which sells cigars. And I have no idea what any, I know nothing about cigars. I have no idea, they all look the same to me. And these guys know everything. So many cigars. Welcome to Cuba. Look at those nice cars. They drive these old cars. This is our taxi, that's our taxi driver. Hello. Hola. Hola. He's been our driver so far. And he's been showing us Cuba. And they're still searching for more cigars because they went to another shop. Wow, these guys are crazy. And yo, guys, cigars aren't cheap. It's really, really expensive. I think I've seen someone spend like $2,000. Crazy. We're heading to get some lobster because we're sick and tired of the resort food. It's pretty bad, guys. So I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful that the food is going to be much better at, this, at a restaurant than the resort. So I'll keep you guys updated if it's good or not. Now we're heading to this restaurant hopefully it's good it's a nice view i have no idea what this castle is but yeah looks cute so this actually looks really really good inshallah it actually tastes good and then we got the shrimps rice all right we'll see what it tastes like do you have a plate to put that yes yeah, so we can put it on our shelf. finally some real food I'm go. happy. All right. Hello, guys. It is a new day, and today is Monday, and Dawood comes back on Wednesday. And today is actually our anniversary. It's our six year anniversary, and it kind of sucks that we're not spending it together. But I was literally heading out the door, and some random delivery guy just came up to my dad's driveway, and he handed me this huge, like, bag of flowers and i'm like why would my dad order flowers and then i realized it's from dawood guys oh. i honestly thought he wasn't gonna do anything but definitely a surprise kudos to you dawood i approve update i picked up my little sister aya and we are heading over to winners marshall's home sense all those stores that we normally shop at um to waste some time on my honeymoon honeymoon <laughs> Anniversary! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Today is Jasmine and I's six year anniversary. So me and her got did our Katz Biktiv in 2018 and now it's 2024, August 26th. Happy anniversary Jasmine. I love you so much. I'm sorry I'm not with you. Uh, I sent you a nice little gift and I hope you enjoy it. I miss you so much and yeah. We'll see you when I'm back. But guys, Jasmine's an amazing person. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And inshallah, more years to come. All right, we're about to hop into this cab here. Fresh. Oh. Yes, let's go. Taking an old school cab to, I don't know where we're going, to another place. 
what she does in the middle of winter. <laughs> I found these in black. I have them in white. And so I had to grab them. They're a dupe for the Zara heels that I always wear. And they're kind of broken now. So now I have black, white, and maybe some other color if I find it. I have found these Ugg dupes. They are so cute. I love the color. Are you going to grab them? No, they're $50. <laughs> grab the shoes plus these like hair clips that I thought were nice. And now we're going to head over to Marshall's to see if we can find anything there as well. I'm at an Italian pizza. And I'm really hopeful. It's in the same resort. So hopefully it's good because we have to reserve. So let's see if it's going to taste good. All right, this is my first dish. It's the bruschetta. Uh, they gave me one piece and let's see how good it is. That I find for you. It's good. It's Two out of ten. So this pizza is extremely dry, and I asked for tomato sauce. They brought me sauce, but it has fish in it, octopus, and I don't know what else. I'm not touching it. Um, I was gonna use it as a dipping sauce, but yeah, no thank you. So I'm gonna stick to my dry pizza. This is what the bite looks like. You can see here. Let's see if it focuses. Let's taste it. That's a zero. Guys. Okay guys, I have found this bag and it is so cute. I think she's gonna grab it. I just love this type of bag. It's so in right now. Just dropped off my sister at her house and now I'm going to meet my friend Aria for dinner. We're gonna have Nan Kebab. It is one of my favorite places ever. I wish Nan Kebab had a location in Dubai. This is my official petition to get Nan Kebab to open up in Dubai. I will even like sponsor you guys at this point. I'll be your brand ambassador. Just open up in Dubai, please. All right, I'm here. Let's go find Arya. Hello. I was just complaining that Dawood left me for my anniversary. Guess who left her for her anniversary? It's the final day here. And unfortunately, it's raining. So that means no beach for now. It'll probably calm down in a bit. But still, what a, like, what do you call it? What a buzzkill, what a, what a buzzkill. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. Today is Tuesday. And I am actually gonna run some errands. I have a dress for an engagement that I'm going to later on, which I will talk about it a little bit more once the time comes. But I'm going to an engagement, so I have a dress that I brought with me from Dubai and it's too long. So I'm gonna go find a tailor to make it shorter for me. And then my mom is making beef shawarma today, which I'm so excited for. Yeah, that's my boring day for you. Just gonna run some errands and hang out with family and that's pretty much it. Okay, that was a success. I dropped off the dress and now I'm heading into Bulk Barn to get some stuff for the um, event that I have at the end of this week. So let's see if we can find some blue candy, um, some snacks, that kind of stuff. They have all this candy here. They have white, red, blue. I'm definitely gonna do this blue here, that blue up there, and probably mixing it with the white so that it matches the theme. And now I'm gonna head into Real Fruit, which is right behind me. Um, that's the smoothie place that I used to get my smoothies at all the time while I was living here in Canada. So I'm gonna go grab me and my sisters some smoothies. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna do a taste test of the honeydew flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. We're probably gonna go to a local hijab store in Toronto. Um, this is in 
Bridalwood Mall, I think. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like uh, like a little Chinese store um, and they sell hijabs from like literally Alibaba or something. Um, and a lot of people go there like when they're in a pinch and need to find a hijab. And the problem is I have a purple dress for this event and obviously I don't make any purple hijabs um, at Ferris uh, because we haven't even ventured into like the bright colors just yet. So I need a hijab. So let's go see if we can find one today. If not, I might have to custom make one and get my supplier to send it to me ASAP. But hopefully I'm lucky today. So let's go see. So far my video has been all about the food and today I'm very excited because they're serving me hummus. What's the top? Cat food? I don't know which one's tuna which one's sorry. Man, you guys made it sound like it's good. <laughs> no, Cuba. You must understand. Yeah. yeah. It's good on Cuba levels, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks decent. It's salmon with potato and rice. Let's try it. Spin that. Okay, that's actually good. Okay, we made it to Bridalwood Mall. This mall has literally nothing, but we're gonna go find that hijab store. Oh, massage chairs. <laughs> Let's go find this store. Here is the store, guys. It's called Orient Silk, and it has all the hijabs that you can imagine. So I have this little piece of my dress that I'm trying to like match with different fabrics. I found this one, it's a chiffon, but it's huge. So I might have to tailor it and it matches it perfectly, but I kind of want one that's like a little bit darker. So we're just going to keep looking and see if we can find anything. <laughs> this is giving neon, but do we like it? This is the hijab. I like it. It doesn't match though. I think it matches. I feel like this is like cool toned and this is <laughs> purple. I think it matches. You're trying to sabotage me so you look better at the event. I already know. Okay, mama meal of the day. We have beef shawarma, fried cauliflower, homemade french fries, turnips, and this parsley salad is actually parsley from our backyard that my mom picked out. And I am so excited to eat you guys. Let's dig in. Guess who's back? Okay, I just arrived. Jasmine's picking me up. I'm the pastor and princess for once in my life. How was Thank your you. trip? It was amazing. I would not recommend you coming with me, so good thing I went by myself. Oh, really? It was a really nice uh, experience. Cuba is nice, the beach is nice. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't recommend going like us. It's more of like a guy's trip. I see. But yeah, did you miss me? I did. Let us know, guys, who you think had a better time. Me? What did you even do? Me and Scarborough <laughs> or Dawood in Cuba. <laughs> Also, Jasmine wanted to remind you guys to check out the link in the description box down below. Check out Nominal and use code Jasmine to save. Oh, that was bumpy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah. Bye! Bye!